Azure Gleam, the absent emperor. The combined might of the kingdom, alliance, and church crush Adrestia's forces in the Valley of Torment, forcing the Emperor and Regent Iyer to flee southward to Garag Mach. The might of Fargus relentlessly pursues them in hopes of finally putting an end to the war. However, Count Burglis stands firm in the way, a stalwart defender of his Emperor. Ah, Leopold. You've come. Why did you bring Her Majesty out here? You said yourself she's not in good shape. It's what the situation demanded. We needed the Emperor's might to drive the Allied army away. Did we now? Besides, the decision was not mine to make. But now is not the time for this idle chatter. I must be going. It is essential I escort the Emperor to Garrig Mok. You shall stay behind to impede the enemy's advance. We cannot let any harm come to Her Majesty. Somehow I doubt it's her safety you're worried about. But fine. I've got my orders. You can go. My deepest thanks. This way, Your Majesty. Adresti is not going to last much longer if that's how our Emperor's looking. If that's what you think, then flee. You're just a general. No noble rank to defend, nor a claim to one otherwise. Another life is out there for you, should you want it. You're telling me to abandon the Empire? That's not like you. You're far too young to be throwing your life away. I wouldn't begrudge you such a decision. Oh, come on! I'll land the decisive blow that'll turn this whole thing around. Hmm. Imagine a grand ship sailing on a vast sea, Kaspar. One day it crosses the path of a vicious storm and begins to sink. Some panic and jump overboard. Others resign themselves to their fates and let the Tempest do what it will. Yet more rob their fellow sailors for meaningless plunder while another group clings to the helm, searching desperately to reverse their fortunes. Uh... And us? We stand proud at the bow, serenading our crew as the waves lap at their feet. Our voices are like thunder piercing through the chaos, stirring the hearts of all those who stand face to face with death. I get it. I'm gonna scream my lungs out until I can't draw another breath. Things might be bleak now, but they're gonna learn just what the Empire is all about. Come, my son. It's time we show them the might of House Burglies once and for all. The Imperial Army has fled south with the Emperor in tow. They appear to be headed for Garrig Mach. And just as planned, the Archbishop and her squadron are en route there as well. But we have also received word of suspicious behavior from the fugitive Duke Iyer. Meaning what? Rather than retreat to the monastery, he remains roaming in the vicinity of this very battlefield. Maybe he's looking for something? Or perhaps it is a trap or a diversion of some kind. We still do not know what our enemy is planning. But we do know that Count Burglis has stationed units at various key points in the hopes of slowing us down. Reports say the Ashen Demon is among them as well. That fiend has already taken Rodrigue from us. If we do not wish to suffer further losses, we cannot underestimate them. So they're back. I'll get them this time. Well, now what? Duke Iyer might not be rushing to reach Garrick Mach. But we should be. We don't want to lose our advantage. Of course not. But if we charge in too hastily, we'll be swarmed by Burglies and his soldiers. Hmm. 
Maybe we could try and find a weak spot in their defenses and break through there. That would all be fine and well on regular terrain. We don't really have the luxury of choosing our route here in the valley. What about the shortcut Lady Rhea used? We would have to break into smaller units to get our whole army through, but it might just work. It is too dangerous. Splitting up would just make us easier targets for whatever traps the enemies laid. I fear I must agree. Such a plan could play straight into the Empire's hands. Attempting to traverse that route without the proper preparations would only result in needless loss. Hmm. Looks like you need my guidance. Hear me out. With an army as big as ours, there's no point trying to get clever with it. Our only real concern is the possibility of getting surrounded. Therefore, what I propose is... We'll push our way through. Strike everywhere all at once. Whatever traps Duke Iyer's got for us, we'll blow straight through them. This isn't a thinking person's fight. Not now. We've got the stronger army, so let's start acting like it. <sighs> I didn't realize we had two boars on our side. Though I can't say I disagree. We have the numbers. It is a good plan. I hold no objections. Our combined might would overwhelm even the greatest ambush. Now, the Empire will learn what the legions of Vargas are capable of. Hey, Arvo. Now that we fought Mycin again, I think I get it. This power, it's the same one they have. You felt it too, right? The guy he mentioned before, Epimenides, he's... Me. At least all signs point to that. Say, do you detest me? Detest the fact that I share their power? How could I? After all you've done for me, it doesn't matter who you are. You'll always be my partner in destiny, Arval. Whatever the truth is about us. Ah, there you are. Would you care to assist me in questioning the commander we captured? Said they have some vital information. I will stop at nothing to know what it is. Is everything all right? Oh, yep. I'm sorry. I'll be right there. I'm me, and you're you. Nothing's ever gonna change that. And what if you lose control and have to be slain by the very friends you hold dear? We can cross that bridge when we come to it. But if that's what they've got to do, so be it. Until then, I'm gonna keep doing everything I can to help. I'll defeat that demon and protect my friends. I speak the truth, I would swear my life on it. Duke Iyer has become that horrible man's puppet, dancing in the palm of his hand. And his stewardship? Not but a farce to pacify the masses. Talus and his ilk are the ones who truly hold the reins of this empire. You mean the mages we saw at Arian Road? So Duke Iyer is under their control too? Yes. And what's more, though you may find it difficult to accept, Hollis and the former Lord Arundel are one and the same. I overheard as much cross his own lips. And it's as we feared. And what of Edelgard? Her Majesty? I cannot explain what has befallen her. She does as Duke Iyer bids her and nothing more. Though of course, Talus is the one whispering those orders to him from the shadows. She follows his every word, issuing his orders in her name. Now, surely I have shared secrets enough to earn my salvation? 
That will require formal deliberation. You may await your verdict from the inside of your cell. What? No, wait, there's more! Please, I beg of you! How much of Fenya's prattling do you believe? Certainly not all of it. But a great deal of what she said rings true. Lord Arundel's contributions to the Church must have ceased because he was no longer Lord Arundel, but Tallis instead. It's almost identical to how the librarian Tomas was replaced by that dark mage. At the time the donation stopped, Lord Arundel was living in Fargus, having fled from the Empire. So Cornelia may have been the one who arranged to have Lord Arundel replaced. They were both deeply involved in the tragedy of Dusker. But to what end? Why would the Empire abduct the Queen Consort? There is no way of knowing those answers now. Not until we defeat Tallis and launch a full investigation into his activities. What I can say is everything would be different if not for those mages. My father, his knights, the citizens of Dusker. None would have met the fate that befell them. <sighs> no doubt they had a reason for what they did. A sense of justice that rationalized their savagery, even if to no one but themselves. But we have the right to seek our own justice for those actions in the way we see fit. By the sword. We will prevail, Your Majesty and we will finally avenge the dead. Once Talus is gone, we will finally be able to put all this behind us and look toward a new future. Then we are all in agreement. Let us go. Are you prepared for this? Honestly, I don't know. Gerald wouldn't want this. He didn't believe in vengeance for vengeance's sake. Indeed. You could not be more right. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. <sighs> I could do this by force, you know. Be grateful, then, that I asked for your leave at all. You're right. This has to come from me. And I accept your power. Help me win, no matter what it takes. Ah, yes. You shall make a most worthy vessel, after all. And now. Behold all that I have discovered at the edge of time. Your Majesty, where have you gone? I knew it was a foolish idea to bring her to battle, given her condition. Duke Iyer, my lord! The enemy is advancing from the rear and picking off our units one after the other! It's only a matter of time until they're at our throats. You must flee! What does that imbecile of a military minister think he's doing? Tell him to stop them! <laughs> If we fail to find the Emperor soon... All searches have turned up nothing so far. It's possible she has been taken by the enemy. But please, you must save yourself at least. We will remain here and continue to seek out Her Majesty. <clears throat> yes, I suppose staying here myself would only accomplish my being lost as well. In that case, I shall withdraw to the monastery. My apologies, but I leave the search to you. Understood. Farewell, and thank you.
last major impediment before us is Count Burglis, perhaps the most fearsome general in all of Fodor. And, as we've yet to encounter the Ashen Demon, it's safe to assume they will be by his side. So the time's finally come. Steal yourself for the task ahead. Let's finish this quick, okay? The sooner we win the war, the sooner we can all go home and have a nice big victory feast. You're right. Everyone has to make it back safe, so we can throw the biggest party Fargus has ever seen. It's time to move, everyone. I know you won't let the kingdom down. already I'll do my best I'm ready I'll do my best Hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure we're- Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I'm on it. Just leave it- Please, I'll lend you my strength. We will proceed as- We must strike. Begin the operation. Our orders are- Begin. The Sky Spirit, what- Duke to... Iron. Eldar is likely to be with me. I must escape, even if it's alone. Quickly, to Garrett Mock. So we giving chase will not go the distance. We need to cut off this escape route. Sending a few units ahead via the caves might do the trick. Shame I missed the pitch battle. I'm not so fond of fighting at a disadvantage. They'll have troops waiting for us in the caves. I'm sure of it. Let's keep our wits about us. Hear you loud and I'll make sure we will pro we must strike. Begin. The sky I'm on it. The combat engineers are in position. We should make for a good diversion. Good. Send up the signal. What was that meant to signal? An enemy ambush? Investigate! Take this! The enemy stronghold will be ours! Smash that stronghold in the rubble! The enemy is upon us, but I cannot die here! The future of the Empire depends on it! We're truly done for now. Is there no one who can help us? Fine, I'll cut them. They won't get through me. Take this! Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. We will proceed as planned. We must hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. Begin. The Sky Spirit. I'm on it. 
No, just... We'll have to take Caspar out if we want to keep moving. Do I am not to be allowed to escape. We must defeat Caspar with utmost haste. Out of the way! I can't let you pass. You'll have to get through me first. Come on! Who are you? Let's take the stronghold. Edelgard, I'm sorry. I did what I could. Fine. There's no time to waste. Let's go. We are now ready to retreat. Your Excellency, the Ballisti are ready to fire. That might buy us a small amount of time. Our path is effectively blocked. We need to disable those Ballisti. I got it! You're incredible! I'm not sure I even need to beat you. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to- I'm on it. Just leave it- We are to worse. Fair enough. We'll go by us some time. Let's take the stronghold. I'm utterly exhausted. Someone relieve me so I can rest. Let me show you the prowess of House Burgley's. Come and try me if you don't value your lives. The Minister of Military. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our Perry affairs himself is down before us now. Very well then. We will just have to take him down. We have to take him out now. If we aren't quick about it, Duke Iyer is going to get away. Any last words? I shall receive them in place of the guards. I believe Leopold needs help. I'll leave this to you. I'm aware you don't need any help, but at least let me heal you. A wise man is ever ready. Who asked you? But now I really can't settle for anything less than victory. This will be fun. Suppose good manners dictate that we repay them in kind and charge them head off. Here you lot, I'll make short work of this. We will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our begin the operation. Our or shall we? Let's give it a shot. Be I am advancing. Begin. The Sky Spirit watches over me. I'm on it. No charge. Out of the way! Good, it stopped. Now we can keep moving. Things are not unfolding quite in our favor. I can best retreat. Out of the way! Let us take this strike! 
Stronghold. My accomplishments won't mean a thing if I'm not still standing when the battle's over. I've always known you possess this power. The power to protect people. To save them. You're doing well. I might even be in danger. Out of the way! Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work if we will proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. <laughs> Finally, someone capable of bringing me to my knees. I shall. Yes. The Empire cannot afford you. My apologies, but I'm warping you out of here. Yeah, right. Done. Out of the way. So he lives to fight another day. Regardless, our pathway is now clear. Let us hurry after Duke Iron. Hurry, faster. Keep running. Shall let's give it a shot. Begin the operation. Our orders are clear. I'm on it. Just leave it to me. Begin the Scott King. Smash that stronghold into rubble. Oh, ancestors of Adrestia, and your majesty, our empire is doomed. We must find her at once! <gasps> Butcher most vile. You killed the sire of this vessel, and now you die for it! I've got this! It's you the monster wants, so let's give the Ashen Demon a fitting end. You arrogant! Speck, be gone! This place is not here. for you! You're strong. I've got a little something of my own. In this time, I know I can take you! Our foe intends to win. But just me. I'll see the past crushed in your foot Yeah! <laughs> 
I won't let myself stop here. I can't wait to test my newfound strength. Finally done it. The Ashen Demon is no more. Mm-hmm. You don't sound too pleased with yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I know I should be. But now that it's over, I just feel kinda... empty. What if all this was just some horrible mistake? What if there was another way we could have solved all this? Sorry. I shouldn't be dumping all this on you. There's nothing to apologize for. You're processing a lot right now. I'm not sure what it means to feel happy and empty and regretful all at the same time. But I think I'm going through it myself, too. Though I wouldn't call it happy, per se. More like... Free. Like, I finally finished a quest I thought would never end. The relief could practically move me to tears. I... Hey, are you crying? I'm... I'm not sure. But I do know this. I'm beyond grateful for everything you've done for me. I couldn't have asked for a better partner in destiny. Same here, friend. <laughs> not a trace of the Emperor in sight. She and Duke Iron must not be together. In any case, she's certainly not here. By now, the Knights of Sero should be making their final approach on Garrett Mach. Perhaps we should join them, and focus on reclaiming the monastery before anything else. Yeah, that's probably the best option we've got. Wouldn't be surprised if Edelgard made her way back there too. There's been no word of that from the Knights, but it's definitely possible. <sighs> Very well then. We'll table our search for Edelgard for the time being. Now, let us regroup and make for Garrig Mach. All of this will be for naught if our idling here costs us our chance to reclaim the monastery. <laughs>